All right, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at Gartner uh, Data and Analytics Summit in Orlando. I'm super excited to be here with Iris from K2 View. Iris, first of all, so exciting, uh, so excited to meet you in person yes. uh, finally. And uh, I know you all are doing great things in the GNI space. Uh, so excited to know about that. I know the booth here was is. You know, there are so many people coming in, enterprise leaders coming in, customers coming in. Uh, what are you all doing? First of all, we want to know about that. What are you listening from these uh, leaders? But at the same time, can you also tell us a little about yourself? What do you do at k <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So we're very excited to be here and everybody's talking about Gen AI and how yep. data is so critical for Gen AI. And this is exactly where k comes to the picture because we provide real-time customer data and combine it with Gen AI to improve customer service. Exactly, and that is something what I've been, you know, obviously um, I've been talking to a few leaders that you all have, I've obviously spoken to customers as well, and how you all have been kind of, you know, uh, going out and making Gen AI more real, uh, through the, obviously, and also getting the data ready for AI. So excited about that. Also, I heard an announcement from Ronin today about data agents. Uh, so uh, I'm excited to learn more about that in Trader 3. Uh, we'll be going and learning that uh, tomorrow, I think, the session mm -hmm. is happening. Yes. Uh, but then I'm kind of also excited to, you mentioned about customer service, right? right. Why is customer service such a big issue? Um, uh, like such a big uh, issue or a big use case, I would Priority, say, right? Yes. In Gen AI. Uh, can you tell us more about that? Yes, so Gartner is also talking about this. Customer service is the biggest use case, and it's because customer experience is a big uh, priority for enterprises, and mm. Gen AI can do magic in these places. And the other thing is, it's also a very big cost item in their agenda, so right. any improvements, any efficiencies we can introduce using Gen AI in the call center can make a big difference. Hmm. And that is, I think that is something that I saw a few months back as well uh, through a demo from one of your teammates and uh, we've been kind of seeing it super flawless uh, mm -hmm. that how you all have been kind of supporting the customer service. So that's a good one. Uh, do you also think um, data kind of plays a very important role uh, when you're kind of uh, looking at something like this? Uh, what are your thoughts there? Yeah, obviously. So data is critical to good customer experience, right. one that customers can actually trust. Mm -hmm. But we see that many organizations started with a generic data or data from a knowledge base about the organization. Yep. So think about a customer chatbot or, or a virtual assistant. There's generic questions you can ask it, if, like what's, my, what's a credit card versus a debit card? Yeah. Or what credit card do you provide at Bank X? But if I want to make it more personal and I want to ask questions about your account or my account, why, what's this uh, billing from yesterday? Yep. Can you dispute this? Can I dispute this uh, billing? Now I need customer data. It needs to be fresh. It needs to be real Very time. Very important. So yeah. that's why data is so critical. Yeah, no, I think 100%. Uh, I'm kind of also curious to learn a little about the data infrastructure part, right? So what are some of the critical requirements for your data infra infrastructure that you need to comply in order to move from pivot to production? I know there are a lot of compliance thing that kind of plays right. a, cru a crucial role here. Yes. So kind of curious to know from you about that. Yes. So there's many requirements to make Gen AI successful around customer data. Right. Definitely security and privacy. Customer data is the most private thing, so you want to make sure only the customer can see data about himself. Very true. Uh, in addition to that, the, it needs to be conversational response time because yeah. the customer is not going to wait. Will you go and collect his invoices and bills from different systems, he needs the answer right now. Yep. And of course the data needs to be fresh and up to date, because right. if you already pay the bill, you need to see it when you talk to him. And maybe the last thing is about scaling up, because many people ran, product, ran pilot projects last year, yep. and this year is about production. And we see that many uh, pilot projects are not able to scale. So it's important to check that upfront before you move to production. I think, yeah, one thing that I've been kind of hearing from the k view leaders is about how you all have, you know, obviously got the customers, got the prospects to the next level as well in terms of the projects that they were thinking about or weren't sure about in the JNI space that, oh, how do we kind of get them to the next uh, do the next step of really getting the ROI, and that is exactly what they've been kind of seeing from the uh, from K2View how they're using y'all in 
you know, obviously creating a great use case. Yeah. Uh, so that's awesome. One more thing that I had for you is, what's next for KW? What are you seeing? I know data agents is like the big announcement. Yes. I'm excited about that as well because that's the talk of the town. Everyone's talking about agents, but then data agents is something pretty interesting that I've right. been hearing. Anything that you would like to share with our audience that what can we expect next? Yes, so agentic AI frameworks are the big thing, the big promise, also yeah. in customer service. Yeah. So data is critical because otherwise the agents can't do anything if they yeah. don't have the data, if they cannot analyze the data and understand if uh, the customer satisfaction is going down or up yeah. or what's going on. So we definitely play a big role there and are very excited about that. Amazing, that's awesome. Uh, one more last question for our audience. Iris, if folks want to reach out to you, learn more about K2V, I know you share a lot about not only just on K2V pages, uh, blogs, white papers, you all come up with reports. I've shared a few with my audience as well because I've learned a bit from that and I've seen you know extensive research that you all get into, not only just from the customers, but from the enterprise leaders as well out there. So if they want to do that, where can they learn everything, not only just about K2V, but also if they want to reach out to you, which is the best place. Yeah, great question. So definitely our website, our yeah. LinkedIn page, and if you are at the Gartner Show, come to our booth number 934. We'll uh, tell you all about it and show you some real use cases in production. Yeah, no, I love it. I love how you all have, you know, obviously made things real for the bigger companies, the bigger enterprises out there in the real way, in the real Gen AI space and how you all have implemented is fantastic. So thanks for that. Uh, we'll keep the conversation going. Uh, all the best for the next three days at Gartner. Super Thank excited you. and uh, we'll see you tomorrow at Data 3. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> all right, everyone. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you.